Hello and welcome back to another video, where today I'm doing my first video on Your Bizarre Adventure. I did really enjoy this game back when I used to play it ages ago, but I haven't made any videos on it because I completed the game in my own time. I say completed the game, done everything you really need to do, but today I'm going to be showing you how to win every single game on Steel Ball Run, which is the mode you can use to get parts for evolving certain stands and all sorts of things like that. So uh, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, check out the Discord in the link in the description. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So first of all, I'm going to go and look for a stand appropriate for the Steel Ball Run, or the best to use. This is also my opinion, you could use whatever you feel like using, but I'm going to be using Tusk Act 1. It's a useful stand just to use, it's easy to get. I would recommend Tusk Act 4 for doing it, but obviously, if you're doing the Steel Ball Run, it's probably not the easiest to get at the time. So, to get Task Act 1, all you need to do is find a rib cage, reset your stand, and use it. So, we're going to go ahead and look for one of those now. I already have a rib cage in my inventory, but I just wanted to show how quick it was to get. That took me about four minutes. I'm obviously going to speed up in the recording, so if you want to watch me try and get a rib cage for four minutes. But yeah, I'm just going to keep using them now until I get the stand I want. Hopefully, we get it on one of our first tries. First try would be amazing. It's a very good stand, but it's not what we're looking for, so I am going to go and switch it in my stand real quick. Put stand 4. How do I... Oh wait. Put stand. Select slot. 4. Put stand. There we go. I haven't played since the new update, I just know that's a new stand, so we're just going to equip that there real quick. Just in case there's anything worth keeping. Uh, rib cage. Here we go. Going to pop another one real quick. I don't know how many I actually have in my inventory. We have one more. Yeah, one more. Wait. There we go, so we got it. So, reason why we're going to be using this stand. Okay, uh, wrong thing. Uh, character. Skill tree. Okay, I have not played this game in a while and they've changed a few things. Use skill tree. Is this where I go? This is my character skill tree. Sorry I'm being very stupid right here. I've not played a lot of stands. Oh, you can view the skill tree. My bad, guys. So as you can see, hates to drink tea, just like a British person would, which is myself. Strengthen your nails. Hold Z to glide. E to shoot nails. It's just a useful stand in general. The glide is really useful for getting away from people and you can use it for the last stretch of the race if you want to use your horse at full capacity. Then it runs out of stamina, then you can just glide to the finish line. Very useful. You've also got the nails so you can shoot at people while you're on your horse because a lot of moves are banned. Then you've also got the T which you can use to heal yourself. So a lot of very powerful moves. Now we're going to go ahead into the actual steel ball run. So right here we're at the start of the race now. I don't know how many people are in. Like I said, I have not played this game for a long while. But for the first part of the race, all we're going to try and do is stick to ourselves, not get involved in any fighting, and just chill out. And that's how we're going to be playing this for a while. We almost got in a fight a few times on the way, but we're finally here now, so we're just going to avoid trouble and throw the border on and then we're just going to race it again, while trying to avoid everyone as usual. This part of the race, we're just going to avoid everyone, avoid getting in fights, and let everyone kill each other until we run with the last people standing.
My microphone audio messed up for the last part of this clip, so I'm going to be voicing it over. For the last 30 seconds until the gate opened, I know some people at the start of the race try and knock you off your horse just by using their stands or other things. I don't know what they can do. There's loads of different abilities that can knock you off your horse. So I decided I was going to stay away from everybody for the last 40 seconds. Then I decided to get off my horse and I was talking to myself in the recording. As you can see here, I'm just looping in circles. I was just announcing what I was going to do, how I was going to do it. And I didn't even notice that the last 10 seconds was approaching. I just started zoning out. Then I realized, oh, we've only got a few seconds left. So I didn't have time to like start my horse up get some speed gain because I only started on the last second but we almost got attacked but they managed to miss somehow and we were really behind the crowd as you can see we just put the speed straight to 50 because we have the fingernail glide if we run out used our fingernail ability on Tuskak 1 to shoot the guy in front of us which let us eventually overtake him and luckily being behind the revolver shots didn't hit me so we ended up rushing past the guy in front of us and got second place which is decent considering I was pretty much zoned out at the start and I could have had a way better start. And we're also using Tusk Egg 1. The top 3 is still a bit cool in an item. This is all for the video. So if you did enjoy it and this did help you out, please like and subscribe. And if you are interested, check out the Discord. Link in the description. Thank you for watching and goodbye.